Um, we just got an Amazon package in the mail. They're busy watching the neighbors. <laughs> or a squirrel or something. Okay. Let me see. I hope these work for you from Debbie. Where, Debbie Letterman. Oh, Debbie. That was so nice of you. Let's see. Micro steel. Oh, yeah. These are um, the supplements I've been taking, the migraine prevention supplements that I, that I did the review on uh, that micro steel kit. Um, which I'm going to do an update here soon. I have had a migraine for recently, and but I can say it wasn't as bad as it usually is. Um, Twisted Manila. Oh, this is a uh, nautical rope. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I uh, I use that on crafts. Now let me see what else is in here. Microsteel. Soothing neck and shoulder cream. This isn't didn't come in the kit. Now I did do the uh, roll-on, but I had to wash it off because the smell was really getting to me. So I'll see. Hopefully this isn't... What does it say? I can't read that small writing. Ingredients. Almond oil, olive oil, coconut oil. Okay, that's all the ingredients. Directions. Okay, there it is. Blurry. Use up to three or four times a day. So I wonder if this is when you feel a migraine coming on. Oh my goodness. My daughter gets migraines too. She's seeing a neurologist now because hers have really been bad. Enjoy your gift. I don't know what you're going to do with it, but I hope it works out. Have a great day from Debbie Lehrman. Oh, yeah, Debbie, I'll use that nautical rope on something. You know, I'll use it on some kind of crafts. <clears throat> I will suggest this to some people I know who deal with the same thing from Debbie Lehrman. Yeah, if people haven't never uh, had migraines before, they think it's just a headache. And believe me, it's not just a headache. It's, uh, <laughs> it's a lot worse than a headache. And believe me, I have heard it all. Make basically some, make it like it's my fault that I get migraines. It's not the person's fault, believe me. And there is no cure for migraines. They can only do what they can to prevent it. 
And first was is to uh, find out what the cause is. And I have been to several specialists, ENT, allergists, I see a neurologist. So, you know, they can only do things to, to make it not as work bad. They do know a lot more than they did 10 years ago. So... They're learning, but there is no cure for migraines. There's just not. Just what they can do to try to keep them from being as often and as bad. So, really, don't judge a person that don't suffers with migraines. Please don't. I mean, they're already dealing with depression, too, on top of the migraine because the migraines are so bad. So, thank you so much, Debbie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. That's so nice of you. And let me open this and see how it smells. Okay, I got it open. It don't smell bad at all. You don't have a strong scent. It don't smell bad at all. It kind of has a nice scent to it. You can smell the menthol. I smell some mint. It don't smell bad. Okay, well, yeah. Thank you so much, Debbie. I appreciate it. And when I do the review on, which will be toward the end, I think it's toward the end of June, will be six weeks. Um, I'll let you know how this uh, cream works, too. I gotta read up on it. Do I do this every day or do I only do it? I'm thinking I only take do that when I'm feel a migraine coming on. Um, that migraine stick I think I'm gonna give to my daughter and see if that will help her with her migraines. And yeah, thank you so much for this. This will really come in handy because I've been taking these every day. All right, bye. And um, also, um, I'm asking everybody that prays to please pray for um, my brother and my family. Okay, and I'm going to try to do this without crying. Um, My nephew was found dead yesterday morning. My sister-in-law called me and told me. My brother is just way too upset, which is understandable, to even to call anybody. So she, she called me and let me know that Chris was found yesterday morning. So please pray because we're in a lot of heartbreak right now. He was in his 40s, and as far as I know, he wasn't sick. He didn't, I mean, he was fine. He just posted on Facebook, I think, a day or two before, and it was, it's just a shock to everybody, to our, it's just a shock to our system, and oh, I don't know when the funeral's going to be right now or what, it's just, you're still working that out. But please, please pray for us because, oh my goodness, I, I'm just still in so much disbelief that he's gone. He's, uh, his mother passed away a few years ago of cancer, so, and he had a hard time after she passed. She, he really grieved a lot for her. So, um, and my brother remarried, so yeah, my sister-in-law, uh, called me, so thank you, everybody, for your thoughts and your prayers in advance.